Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days of Our Lives review. And I want to start by talking about Johnny and Chanel. Were they not adorable this week? Oh, my gosh. They're so beautiful. Oh, I just love that we got to see them be cute this week. <laughs> like, outside of the pub, when Chanel, Paulina, and Abe, they were coming from the MLK celebration, and Johnny came out with some free coffee for them. <laughs> flirting and she was like oh I've been wanting something to warm me up and Johnny's like oh I can help with that <laughs> and she's like oh you could be my portable heater <laughs> I was laughing I was like that sounds like something I would say <laughs> that sounds like something I would say <laughs> Lordy and they go inside and um Chanel was just talking about you know how worried she is about I'm sorry I'm just like shaking screen um <clears throat> no she's just so worried about Paulina's um diagnosis and everything and she doesn't want you know other people to see you know she's worried and everything especially Paulina you know so she's trying to stay strong for her mommy oh that's so sweet but Johnny's uh I love this quote he said everyone else can see your hard candy shell but I'll be the only one who can know you have a soft, squishy center, and I love you for it. I was like, oh, that's so romantic. And then, of course, my mind went straight to the gutter on that. And I'm just like, oh, I could be talking about something else. Something else, definitely. <laughs> but um, they ended up joining, um, talking with Jada and Rafe, um, who were talking about... Um, Lord, I forgot what Rafe said. Um, ugh, I can't remember Rafe's story. I feel bad now. I can't. I can't remember what Rafe said, but he was racially profiled too, um, because of his last name. Oh, I can't remember his story. I feel bad now. But uh, I remember Jada's. Uh, um, she was shopping, and the security guard um, was following her around and demanded, you know, to check her bag. And, you know, Rafe was like, um, <clears throat> you know, you show him a badge and stuff. And she's like, oh, I left my badge in the car. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's always when you really need something, it's when it's not with you. <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, like my phone when I'm looking for something under the couch in the middle of the night. And I'm not, and, and it's nowhere near any lighting. <laughs> I was like, oh, lordy. <clears throat> Yeah, but luckily some union um people, they said union people, uh, came in and they recognized her. It's like, see that dumbass security guard's face when he found out that she was a cop. Mm -hmm. And then trying to say that she stole some lip gloss she had in her bag or whatever. I'm like, oh, lordy. And on MLK Day of all days, ain't that some shit? And Chanel was talking um a story about when she was like three and somebody asked if they could touch her hair. I'm like, oh lordy. I'm like, girl, I've been there so many times because some people don't believe this is my real hair. I was like, no, it really grew around my head. It's my extension. <coughs> some people had asked to touch my hair, and it's like, um. No, if it's somebody that I know and they're like, you know, they haven't seen me in a while, or I, or I straightened it since last time and saw me, like, oh, like, cute hair, and it's like, can I touch it? I'm like, yeah, sure, touch it. Yeah, like I just, like I just did it last week. Well, no, wait, I did it. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday night, I did it. Tuesday night, so that's why it still looks so nice. Um, it's freezing, and I, <laughs> and I wore a shower cap when I took a shower, so that's why it's still nice. <laughs> But, yeah, it's like, oh, been there, done that. Oh, lordy. Not so bad I don't remember Rafe's story. Um, but, um, oh, lordy. I don't skip down. I'm still talking about Johnny and Chanel. <laughs> uh, oh, lordy. Yeah, my notes are not in order, of course. And I did more summary notes than, like, detailed notes. Um. Maybe that would make this review go a little faster. Because I do remember this week a lot better in my head for some reason. I don't know. I think my memory is starting to get much better now that I'm taking these supplements for my vitamin B12 deficiency. I don't think I ever mentioned that before. But yeah, I think that was affecting my memory and everything. But now that I'm taking that, I feel like more focused and stuff. And 
Yeah, but that doesn't still doesn't stop my tangents. Um, <laughs> oh, <coughs> I, I don't know why I do that. I do that like every week, I think. But um, <clears throat> I mean, that was Monday's episode, and we didn't see them again until Thursday. They're laying in bed, and we got to see Johnny without his shirt. Is it just me, or does Johnny have really cute nipples? <laughs> I just I just kept looking at them. <laughs> Oh lordy, but you know, it's just um they're just laying in bed and John was just talking about, you know, he just felt bit bad that they're just, you know, like having so much fun while, you know, his dad and Nicole are down the hall feeling like crap and then it's like, you know, Holly's in a coma and then, you know, Paulina being sick and everything. And it's just like, um this is all crappy and that life is too short. So let's get married. <laughs> Again, <laughs> Lordy, he wanted a destination wedding, just you know, have her pack up everybody and go to. I think he said like Cayman Islands or something. And Chanel's like, I um, can't do that because you know, with everything going on, that's gonna you know look bad. He's like, good point. So we could have a big small wedding. <laughs> Lord, and he was talking about getting married on Valentine's Day, and I'm like, oh my God, do not do that. <laughs> that is so cliche and so not romantic, and it's just oh so stupid. Valentine's Day altogether is just hella overrated holiday. You know, the only good thing about Valentine's Day is the candy, and you know, I don't even eat candy like that anymore. <laughs> so. <clears throat> But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's Chanel wants a snack, so Johnny goes downstairs and comes back without the snack. Um, <laughs> he's got a, he still doesn't have a shirt on, but he put on a tie. And he got, <laughs> he got down on one knee and asked, um, Chanel if she would marry him. Okay, she mentioned that, you know, he didn't act properly. And um it's like, Will you marry me? And she's like, um, sure. <laughs> They're just too cute. He gave her um a ring that Stefano had gave him for his high school graduation. It's a um I had to go back and make sure I got this right when I was, <laughs> and then I almost watched Thursday's episode all the way through again. It's like, it's a Italian signet ring. Probably said that word wrong. Signet, signet ring. Yeah, the face is like an ancient coin. It's like, oh, that's cool. But then it's like, if he wanted to propose to Chanel, why doesn't he already have a ring? Or is it something that he was just thinking within the last few hours before they were <laughs> in bed together, maybe? I don't know. But he promised to buy her a much nicer ring. So, Johnny, it better be looking good. Okay? Yeah, and then, you know, Chanel's all caught up in this. And she's like, oh, wait, where's my late night snack? And he's like, oh, shit. The <laughs> hot fudge Sunday is melting on the counter. So, yeah, he goes downstairs and gets it, and then they share it. I'm like, she's nice. I wouldn't share it with him. He forgot my ice cream. <laughs> and they're talking about they should pre practice for their wedding night. I'm like, oh, so cute. <laughs> Put that whipped cream in the right place this time. I'm just saying, Johnny. Come on, get with it. If you want to practice for real, you know, you need to do what your grandpa John does to Grandma Marlena. Is that for you got the cherries, not the strawberries. <laughs> Still berries. <clears throat> but anyways, um, talk about EJ and Nicole in a second. Because Nicole runs um comes in after Salone and Leo have an argument. Yeah, Leo's asking Salone for more money and he hasn't gotten paid yet from the spectator. He doesn't want to live off of some trail mix. And I'm like, trail mix is not cheap. <laughs> so you mean you mean you don't want to live off a of ramen? That's not the cheapest meal, um, snack meal or whatever I could think of. But shoot. <laughs> Anyways, um, but he was telling Sloan about his new column. 
um, it's gonna blow her mind. <laughs> she demands to know what it is. She says, um, it'll tell how she screwed him over, screwed over some people, basically, and just walks away. And she's like, we have a deal. And then Nicole walks up. I'm like, what? And someone's like, not did it in your business, but you know, I was Leo's lawyer and we had a payment agreement and he doesn't want to honor it. <laughs> and I was like, nice cover. Sorry, I don't know why my nose starts itching once I st start doing videos because it doesn't itch when I'm not talking about videos. Or maybe it does and I just don't notice it. I don't know. But. <laughs> But Salome was getting prepared. She was finally going to have that dinner with John and Marlena that she's been talking about for like, oh lordy, since last spring, summer, whenever her and Eric first got together, <laughs> which is funny because Salome and Eric are married now. And, you know, so it's just crazy how she was still so intimidated by Marlena when she's already married to her son. Okay, but Nicole was trying to give Salome some advice for Marlena, and, um, yeah, I, I, Lord, I did not write any of that down, the other stuff they were talking about, you know, Nicole was apologizing to Salome for, you know, kidnapping Jude and acting the way she is, and she was like, you know, maybe in a um, past life we could have been good friends. Cold, you're not going to be like that. <laughs> when you find out what Simone did, you're going to want to drag that bitch through the square. <laughs> oh, lordy. But um, she also think, she thinks um, her for being okay with Eric, um, being so understanding with Eric wanting to visit Holly and stuff. So it's like, not like she had a choice. Eric's ass was still going to do it regardless. Like, he didn't even, like, ask her permission. When he found out about Holly, he just went upstairs and got ready. You know what I'm saying? Oh, honey, I, it was okay. Can I go see Holly? No, he just went out there. And he wasn't thinking about Salone's ass. Oh, Lordy. But at the dinner, oh, my gosh. I didn't even take notes on this hot mess. Like, the whole episode was just like, why am I watching this shit? Basically, that's the whole episode for me. But Salone just, you know, mm -mm, just acted her ass off, got drunk. Yeah, she was trying to get um, Marlena and John to drink some wine that she opened, and they didn't want to drink. And so she decided to um, drink enough for them and got hella tipsy. And was trying to tell stupid ass jokes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so painful. Not even I am that awkward. <laughs> and, you know, Eric was just trying to, was like, hey, let's just go lay down. And she's like, no. She was just talking about how nobody's perfect or something. I, I don't know. I stopped watching that. I was like, oh my God, this is. I just felt so awkward for Salome <laughs> for that. And John Merlin was like, oh, let's go take baby Jude for a walk. And I'm like, y'all still taking that baby out in the cold for a walk? Lordy. Walk him up and down the halls. Anyways, but I forgot to mention that Nicole had ran into Abe and Paulina outside of the club on MLK Day. And she was telling them that Holly was getting tested to see if she's a candidate for treatment at that hospital facility or whatever that EJ was at when he, um, after Sam shot him in the head. I like how they just said when he got shot in the head. They don't mention that, you know, hey, it was Sammy that did it. You know, even, uh, John even was talking to um, Chanel about, you know, um, Holly getting into where um, his dad was I think got shot in the head. You know, Chanel didn't even ask for details. Like, sorry, but if, <laughs> if my husband told me or my boyfriend told me that, you know, your, his dad got shot in the head, I'm going to ask questions. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe Johnny told her the story once for time to time. And does Johnny even know that Sammy was the one that did it? I don't know. But Holly got into the facility and um, Nicole was packing up her stuff when EJ came in. And um, Nicole 
um, she was like, oh, just packing up stuff for Holly, um, so that, um, the, the facility said, you know, she should be surrounded by stuff she loves, so Nicole's like, I'm gonna bring her, um, full, um, Taylor Swift collection, I was like, oh, Holly's a Swifty too, see, I knew I loved that girl, <laughs> oh, don't forget the new one, she just did the Taylor version, Taylor version for 1989. I need to listen to that. <laughs> I gotta listen to my songs. Shake it off. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, <laughs> yeah, she just thanked him again for helping getting her into the facility, even though she didn't. He didn't ask first. You know, he just took it upon himself. I guess it's the least he can do since he hasn't told anybody that it's Stefan and uh, Ava that helped him Clyde bringing the drugs into the city. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Hmm. But um, they head over to the hospital. Um, Eric's there praying with, um, I guess, technically not praying with Holly because she's still in a coma, but praying for Holly, let's say that. Yeah, and um, Maggie comes in. She's just upset, you know, that she's helped so many people um, with addiction. You know, she helped herself through it. Well, I'm sure she has her help, but, you know, she's, she, you know, worked hard to stay sober. That's what she said. Stay sober and help other people. And, yeah, she couldn't see that Holly needed it. I'm like, yeah, I can understand why she's being upset about that, but, you know, you can't always, you know, figure out what's going on with people, you know. Something, you know, some people just hide stuff really easily than others. Yeah, until something happens, and then you get your sign, like now. <laughs> Ugh, learning. But, yeah, she also mentioned about, you know, letting her air, ugh, letting her anger go um, with Eric for killing her son, Daniel. Nobody... Nobody's really sad that Eric did that. Um, yeah, I'm sure some people love him dearly for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, Nicole and um, Eric show up at the hospital. And um, Nicole, she wants to take all the stuff that everybody put in her room. So she knows that she's loved at the facility. I'm like, yeah, and uh, Holly and Nicole are going to Italy in a helicopter. I'm like, what? No way. And, oh, my gosh, I just remembered the, um, Doran Harris and Ava scene on the docks. There was a helicopter. I thought something was about to happen, and I think about it. That's probably the helicopter for Holly. <laughs> Though that was Wednesday's episode, but it's still nighttime, so okay. I, that just that just literally just popped in my head. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were there to see um Nicole and Holly off, <laughs> and they just stood there as they left Eric and EJ just standing side by side. It was strange. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I did not read how long Nicole and Holly are going to be gone, but, um, I don't know, but, I don't miss Nicole, but, yeah, I guess it's good that, um, they're going to be off screen for a little while, then that way it's not, their scenes don't get repetitive like some other people can, but, um, hopefully Holly's not in a coma for much longer, but, you know, Abe still doesn't have his memory back, so I'm not, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but, anyways, uh, I, I tried to hold that burp in, <laughs> jeez, I don't know if you heard it, but, water makes me burp more than soda, for some reason, I don't know, but, um, speaking of drug issues, um, <laughs> Um, Justin was able to get Tate moved to a juvenile rehab facility to wait trial. Um, Brady and Teresa are happy about it. And Tate's, you know, he's happy about it, but he was upset because he's like, he doesn't need help with drugs or anything or therapy. And Justin's like, just take it. Because you don't want to get your ass whooped like your, um, like Lucas did. Um, <laughs> 
Mm, but um, he goes off, and you know, Trace was packing his stuff. <coughs> was packing his stuff, and she just got really upset, and um, she disappeared on Alex, and he called Brady, and Brady just automatically thought that maybe Teresa had OD'd. But he came over there, and they talked with Jada, and um, they were able to find Teresa at the little Roach Motel, <laughs> where Xander and Sarah used to stay, and then Leo and Dimitri, and somebody else was just there, too. I forgot. Um, but yeah, she's laying on her bed, high as a kite, lord. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, and they thought that needed to rush her to the hospital, but Jada was like, No, she doesn't look like she got the, any of the tainted drugs. It's just um, something that just needs to wait it out or whatever. She's just indeed high, not overdosed or anything. And Brady and Alex were worried about, you know, taking her out in public. So they're like, Oh, we just stay here with her. And I'm like, Awkward, you know, spending the night with her. <sighs> baby daddy and your boyfriend. Yeah, but... <laughs> but she's high, so she doesn't understand, I guess. But And I see the little sleeping arrangement they had going on there. But anyways, next day, they go to Alex and Teresa looking hella rough, as of course. And she broke Caroline's beads, too. I forgot what happened. I guess there was, like, some sort of struggle, and then next thing you know, they're broken on the floor. I'm like, damn girl, you only had them for a little while, but yeah, but she was yelling at Brady because she's mad that, you know, she asked Brady to go talk to Nicole when, um, she originally asked Eric, which was weird, because she asked Eric and then a few days later, she asked Brady, and I'm like, it would have been so much better if Eric did the talking. Yeah, and, um, Eric never did have that talk with Nicole. <laughs> and now Nicole's gone, so. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, but I guess Alex was just getting in the way, so Brady just sent them off to get some coffee and donuts for Teresa that would make her feel better. And so, while Alex is out doing that, he's talking with Maggie. Uh, he bumps into Maggie and, you know, just tells, oh, sorry, just <laughs> telling her what happened with Teresa and, um, she gave him some advice, you know, just, um, he just, oh, Lordy, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but basically, some advice is like, you know, maybe I shouldn't, um, um, Lordy, I forgot. He said, oh, he said he wasn't going to drink around her for a while. Um, Maggie said, you know, that's good to do that, but, you know, she still has to see people drinking around and stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, it just kind of made him feel better about, you know, dealing with Teresa and everything. And I'm like, Maggie's a really good person. Because <laughs> Alex has been, like, a total ass to her. But in the end, she was an ass to him first. And then there, then he was returned the favor of being an asshole. And now she's being nice to him. That's a cute little sweet moment. Um, buttering up Maggie so that when the truth comes out, he can still have a job. <laughs> and I go do the same to your uncle, um, Xander, which I'll talk about in a little while. <laughs> but yeah, Brady and Teresa were talking about, you know, she's like, it's not about my past, it's about, you know, I don't deserve this because of what I've done. I haven't changed. I was like, oh, sure, she's about to tell Brady what, you know, what she did with Alex, but no. But she did end up kissing him, and Zan and um Alex walks in just as they're kissing. I'm like, oh, of course, oh lordy, messy drama, <laughs> lordy. But um, mom, on the subject of that, Constantine did run into Steve and was asking him about the pawn. Um, he says that Steve knows who he is to tell him. Uh, he he'll never forget those eyes. So I'm like, if you never forget those eyes, then why haven't you figured it out as John? <laughs> or he does, and he just wants Steve to confirm it or something. I don't know. I guess because he knows that Steve and John, you know, kidnapped him. So I'm guessing that's what it is. 
And Steve was just telling him to let it go, go to Maggie's, pack up a shit, and leave. Get out. And I also think it's funny that Steve is <laughs> telling um, Constantine to leave Maggie's house. You know, Maggie hasn't kicked him out yet, but Maggie walked up while they were arguing. So. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, I forgot to mention that, um, that Leo, he's in some group or some class called the Masters of Sex Club. I probably got that all kinds of wrong. I meant to check that. I have it in parentheses. Check that. And of course, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's the star of people, Lordy. He wrote an article about Baynard Rustin. Probably messed that name all the hell up. But he's he was an openly gay guy during the civil rights movement. And I'm like, wow, that's a brave soul. I think I did hear about him before, but I looked up his story and stuff. I said, oh, really interesting. Um, I thought that was cool that they brought him up. And Liam did a whole paper on him and stuff. And he got worried that Everett and Chad were going to post it. Um, not post it. Print it. And he got all mad. But they were like, no, we're going to print it. And then handed him a bag. So he could go pick up some trash. And Liam was like, what? <laughs> yeah, because Everett and um, Chad were doing that earlier. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, lordy. And they had a, um, they had a, um, lordy, a dinner. The Johnsons had a dinner. Stephen, Kayla, um, Stephanie, Chip, and Wendy were over there. And Everett had called Stephanie and asked her out for dinner. But, um, you know, she said she was having dinner with the family, but invited over. Lordy, <laughs> he walks in and Steve's like, who is he? Sorry, this trip. He's like, you know him? You seen him before? It's like, yeah, him and Stephanie, you know, dated in Seattle while he was living up there with um with um her and um Joey. It was, I'm sorry, Joey. Joey Johnson. <laughs> and Steve was just looking hello, like, who the hell are you? That um was very dad like of him as well as spy um <laughs> spy um pi kind of guy <laughs> um I then um I mean he was asking him some questions too I, I didn't write down what he said my bad but as it, like I said that whole episode. <laughs> Lordy, but Chip and Wendy were um oh yeah Wendy brought over some cherry pie. <laughs> and Kate was like, which Dr. Johnson are you trying to win over? <laughs> so apparently both of them like that. Um, I'm like, I like apple, Wendy. <laughs> I like the apple pie. <laughs> and I think about it. Um, I guess they had um, a deal on um, cherries. <laughs> So when he had the pie and then um Johnny put the cherry put the cherry in the hot fudge sundae for Chanel. <laughs> they they had it on special. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta buy them both. You'll get a better deal. But um they were talking um Tripp and Wendy were talking about some scavenger hunt. They were explaining it and I I stopped paying attention, but I did hear Steve ask, and what's the point of all of this? <laughs> I was like, Steve, you just read my mind, but they want to get Paulina involved and stuff, and I don't know. The rest of it just went over my head. Um, <laughs> but on to the drugs with um, Stefan, Ava, and Harris. Yeah, Harris had a... Um, they did a raid on the bistro. I was like, oh shit. It's <laughs> like just busted in in the middle of dinner, and everybody's like, well, what's going on? <laughs> like, wow. And Ava's just like freaking out. And Stefan's like, just stay calm, just stay calm. So one of Clyde's goon or goons came in and took the stuff out before Harris and his boys could get there. 
Um, but oh, that's what it was. She called them stormtroopers. <laughs> it's like Harrison is stormtrooper. <laughs> Lordy, so yeah, Clyde had called him afterwards and told um them that's what happened. So there's some sort of leak in the um Salem PD and Harrison Rafe and Jada are onto that now. Yeah, so, yeah, so Ava comped everybody's meals because um, they were so upset. And you know me, I was like sitting there looking around. I was like, is the wig guy, is, is he there tonight? <laughs> Lordy. <clears throat> but, you know, Harris is like upset. Yeah, nothing, nothing hurts worse than being loud and wrong. <laughs> so... Yeah, I thought that he left, but, you know, when uh, Stefan went to go talk to Gabby, um, Ava got a text from, me, um, from somebody that said, meet me on the docks. And I'm like, girl, take protection, grab a knife. <laughs> but then I was like, no, it's probably Harris. And yeah, sure enough, it's Harris. <laughs> Lordy, who's just, you know, trying to ask her questions and stuff. And she's like, I'm not talking to you, detective. <laughs> <clears throat> and he hands her his badge. And he says, right now, I'm not a cop. Just a man. A man who cares deeply for you. <laughs> you know, I love so love. <laughs> but it's hard to really, like, want to be um, into them now. That I know that Steve Burton is gone from the show. <laughs> Ugh, we're sucks so bad. Well, it sucks bad that he's gone from Dave, but you know I'm excited to see him go back to General Hospital. But ugh, the potential with Harris and Ava is just ugh, that's just another <clears throat> thing with um Days of Our Lives. They just tease you with these couples, and then nothing happens, or they get together for a little while, and then it ends badly. One of them leaves. One of them dies. <laughs> one of them goes to jail. <laughs> Yes, I'm so upset about stabbing. Even though Camilla um, left. They could have recast her. Been a little weird. But I trust that they could have found somebody good for to be Gabby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but she's talking, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. Just try to get her to confess and everything. And it looked like he was getting to her. Like she was starting to come around and then... Stefan's ass comes through. He gets on the phone with Gabby and he's looking around like, Where are you, Ava? <laughs> and he goes out and um he's telling um I was about to call him Steve. Harris to get lost, basically. And he just like pulls Ava into a kiss. He just like grabs her and he's like <laughs> in front of Harris. I'm like, Wow, that is such that's such an ass. <laughs> Oh yeah, but Harris did mention it's like you know, you know, this place is owned by Tamara, so you know, it's likely some shady shits going on here, basically. <laughs> and Harris is like, just like so mad. It's like whatever, <laughs> Lordy. But um, and Stefan pulls her inside. And he's like, I know you weren't about to confess everything. She's like, No, I was not. We we're just talking. And then Harris comes in. I thought he overheard them, but no. Yeah, he's like, Stefan's like, you're breaking and entering or something. He's like, yo, you left your door, um, back door to the docks unlocked. So I was just doing a safety check or something. <laughs> and then he tried to convince Ava to press charges against Stefan. But um, she said that she's fine. She, no assault was given. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy, this show. But, yeah, Ava's just like, what a night. Grabs a bottle of some vodka. I'm like, girl, I feel you. And just starts drinking it, and she takes it home with her. And she's not, and she's just laying on the couch in the dark drinking it when Trip comes in and gets some water, and he, like, freaks out. And she's like, don't worry, it's just me. Like, why are you sitting in the dark? You know, she filled him in about the raid and everything. And he's like, you know, did they not find anything because there was nothing to find or because it was already moved? 
you just got lucky or something. And able to sell some, stay out of it, you know, let's, the, the, just leave it alone, basically. And Wendy comes out, she was just in there talking to her mama. Oh, Lord. I know, Carice. Carice, you're loving those scenes, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, Ava just got upset and she just took her bottle and I, I can't believe she still has some left in there. <laughs> and went to bed and Tripp's like, he's got to help his mom. And Winnie's like, no, we need to help her mom. Lord, so Winnie's back on her investigation shit. But, you know, she does work for the PCPD now. Oh, Lord, and PCPD. Wrong, so the Salem PD. Salem PD now. So, you know, she, um, she can get into shit now. But um, Paris went back to the precinct and Rafe and Jada's raids went better than his. They were able to get some drugs up the street, though they didn't get to, you know, who's really behind all of it. But um, Paris says his was a bust. And that's, you know, they were talking about, you know, we got a snitch in here. Because <laughs> all the warrants were sealed and Rafe signed off on all the officers that were involved. So, somebody, somebody told. I wonder who the snitch is. I'm guessing we haven't met them because Harris, Jada, and Rafe are the only ones, are the only ones um, that we know that work there. You know, Trask doesn't. <gasps> what if it's EJ? I just, that, that just popped in my head. I mean... Yeah, he already knows it's Ava and um Stefan, but he hasn't turned them in yet. So yeah, that makes me wonder, you know, he is the DA. He could have came across the warrants. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past EJ to do some shady shit like that. Ugh, Lordy. But Lucas was helped there now, then got his ass whooped in prison. Yeah, it's okay. And Harris went to go see him in the infirmary. And he's looking all bust up. And Kate was hella pissed at Harris. She's like, you're supposed to watch my baby boy. I love Lucas, but he is a mama's boy. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Kate definitely treats him like that's her baby boy. Like, he's still attached to the nipple and shit. But, you know, you know, Harris is apologizing and stuff, and Lucas woke up and, you know, was trying to figure out, you know, what happened, and he's like, he can't remember what they were wearing, but they were wearing the same thing, and I'm like, don't y'all wear the same thing in prison? Okay. <laughs> but they were saying that he was asking too many questions. Um, so he's just naming off people that he talked to, some lunch lady, a guard, and somebody else, and it's like, um, I was like, I thought they were all cool, but I guess not. <laughs> so I'm like, he was doing the Drew Kane approach. <laughs> well, hey, now that you think about it, um, Lucas talked to more people than Drew before he got his ass whooped, so. <laughs> and I'm guessing Lucas wasn't naked in the shower. Um, I'm sorry, you wouldn't know if you didn't, if you don't watch General Hospital. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyways, Kate was like, okay, Paris, you need to get my boy out of here before he gets ass whooped again. <laughs> so um, Harris was like he was going to make some calls and find out. But a guard came in and told Harris somebody wanted to talk to him. He's like, who would know I'm here? And he goes, and sure enough, it's Clyde. I'm like, what the hell is Clyde want to talk to um, Harris about? And he, um, Clyde mentioned... Um, he would want to talk about current events like Lucas's assault. I'm like, you know what the fuck happened to Lucas. <laughs> so now that Lucas got his ass whooped, you know, hmm, I know Chad, Chad's going to find out about it eventually because, you know, Kate considers him a son as well. So I think Clot, um, Chad might think it has something to do with Clyde. And then it's like, hmm, put two of the two together and be like, that's why Stefan um, would mention Clyde's name a few weeks back. So I think that's what's going to happen. Clyde, yeah, that's going to happen. 
because if I'm not, I can't remember, in the promo, Stefan talks to somebody about some trouble with the drug ring. can't remember who it was, but I wanted to say it was Chad. So I think Chad ends up knowing about it. Or maybe Eve. Anyways, I'm not going to try to figure that out. I'm going to piece together some more of my theories for later. But anyways, the last thing I wanted to talk about is Xander and Sarah. They moved in together. Uh, can we t- talk about Sarah got her body back after having her baby? She doesn't like she just pushed out a baby. <sighs> anyway, she was looking really cute. Uh, her hair, she has cute, I like her little short hair. That's cute. And they're being cute together while they're moving Sarah, all Sarah's shit in. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and, oh she's like oh some of these are victorias i'm like that big ass box for victoria <laughs> and um they found some shoes in there sanders like what does she need shoes for she doesn't even walk she's like but they were so cute i'm like oh lordy she sounds like my <laughs> my sister <laughs> when her babies were little that she just buy bought them shoes and stuff i'm like they don't even keep their socks on and can't walk, but you got them in shoes. <sighs> Lordy, mothers. <laughs> oh, and I love Sarah has a known collection. She forgot about <laughs> that she had them. <laughs> Lordy, and I'm mad that they didn't show us. They didn't show us this gnome. I want to know what they look like. And Xander's like, they belong in some yard. <laughs> It's like, we don't have a yard. Soon you will, because you guys will be back in the Kiriakis Mansion. But they decided to do some downgrading and um, just go through some stuff and um, store the rest at Maggie's. Well, ask if, she, if they could. You know, you know Maggie's going to say yes. So basically, they're moving stuff back. Because yeah, they had moved out of the mansion. So now I'm just taking stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, moving. Anyways, I believe that's that's all I had to, that's all I had to say. I don't I, why do I feel like I forgot to mention something? Oh lordy. What did I not talk about? I don't know, I just feel like I'm forgetting something. Now I feel bad. But anyways, just let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. And let me know what you enjoyed and didn't enjoy this week. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And share the video, even if it's just to make fun of the fact that I love soap love. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and if you want to know who I thought were the winners, the losers, the best and the worst of this week's episode. Um, check out my weekly highlight show. I now call it the Soap Weekly Highlight Show. Um, I'll be talking about that for Days of Our Lives as well as General Hospital in the Bold and Beautiful. I'll be posting that Sunday afternoon, and I will link that to the end of this video after it's posted. So if you're watching this Sunday afternoon or later, it'll be at the end. So you can just go and click on it. And I just realized before I started recording this that I didn't link um, the video at the end of last week's videos. They're up there now, but um, if you're watching this, you probably already watched the review last week. Or if you didn't, you can go down and the videos right there. But um, I'll also link it below. Um, last week's episode. <laughs> episode. Tori, you do not have a TV show. <laughs> Last week's video and the link. Um, oh, Lord. I'll post a link to last week's video in the description below. There we go. I'm going to shut up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe and warm. Love you guys. Bye.